Hey, lads and ladies around the world, welcome back to another Haunted Star session. If you followed the story with me so far regarding Panatroni and my playthrough, uh, you may have seen that uh, we came across uh, the something to death memory meme, I think. And uh, we were saved by uh, Black Swan. In the meantime, half stream, obviously, I went back to child stream and I completed everything that needs to be done with there. And I retrieved all the Ori Driving Birds uh, related to Boss Red. So, that's great. Also, everything here is done as well, as you may see. I mean, not entirely done. I still have some uh, clockwork to to think about up there, but uh, I guess it's going to be all right. As for the origami birds that are supposed to be here, well, it's done as well. Is this psychic detective? Okay, so this is going to be later on. But yeah, um. So we went back to the reverie in reality and we have to reunite with the crew. So I suppose that uh, we're going to do that in a jiffy. Should one awaken at midnight? Let's see. At the critical moment, a memory keeper named Black Swan pulls you back to reality. She knows that you are in a rush, but hopes that you will calm down first and reassure your companions that you are safe. They have been waiting all this time for you to wait from your trauma. Although, you can't help but wonder, why does every visit in Pinectroni look so strange? That's what we'll find out today. Let's go there. Yes. Could it really just be a coincidence? Uh, I've got a funny feeling about that lady. But she did find and save him too. The least we could do is listen to the other party's request. That memo keeper obviously came here with an agenda. We should remain vigilant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look, Miss Himiko, I brought the kid back as promised. Uh, you're all right. We couldn't find you in either dream or reality. We were worried sick. It's good to see you're unharmed. Allow me to introduce you to Miss Black Swan, memo keeper of the Garden of Recollection. Uh-huh. Uh, so you're Himeko's friend? Uh, not exactly. Miss Himeko said that they were investigating the incidents happening in the dreamscape. Okay. <laughs> Not quite yet. But thanks to you, we might be able to use this opportunity to get to know each other a little bit better. Okay. So how did you end up there? And what the heck happened? Well, it was a long story. But allow me to elaborate on what I experienced so far. So, the one who attacked you was... a girl dressed in red, adept at illusory arts, and was able to shapeshift. Uh, that's right, yeah. Her name is Sparkle, a masked fool who has infiltrated Penacony. Don't worry, she won't be bothering you for now. She's probably patting herself on the back for a job well done. <laughs> it seems you know her well. Of course, I know everyone here. On Penacony, anyone could be lying. But the remembrance does not lie. So I feel the need to clarify with everyone. Miss Sparkle's tricks can induce hallucinations. But that strange dreamscape? Nothing to do with her. It originated from Penacony itself. I see. Penacony itself? Mm, yep. Yeah. Have you not sensed it yet? This apparent land of dreams. It's a carefully designed dream maintained by the family through unknown means. And the memory zone he fell into, that's the true dreamscape. Chaotic, 
dangerous, enigmatic. A beast of memory dwells in the ever-shifting labyrinth. A beast of memory dwells in the ever-shifting labyrinth. Well, uh, a beast. Yeah, that's how you should call it. The, uh, something unto death. Boss. I guess. She's right. Everyone, do you all still remember your surroundings during your entry into the dreamscape? My surroundings when I entered into uh, the dreamscape. Well, surroundings. Clops? There were a lot of clops. That's right. The gallery of thoughts. That's how the hotel staff referred to it. Hmm. Have you noticed? These landscapes seem quite distinct from that of Peniconi's in your dream, yet strikingly similar to the dreamscape described by Miss Black Swan. So that means the entry into the dreamscape was part, let's say? Of the real or the true dreamscape, and they just made us enter some sort of dimension where it's all dream and bubbly. You're right. I didn't give it much thought at first, but in hindsight, the overlap is hard to ignore. Yeah. Also, after speaking to some of the frequenters, the first stop when you enter the dream is supposed to be the hotel in the dream. But due to certain incidents, the hotel is now under renovation. Certain incidents. Yeah. Yeah, you should call it like that. What could possibly have to happen to an entire building for it to require renovation? Combine that with what he just experienced, and the answer is clear. Hanakoni's dream is sinking right now, turning back to its original form, and falling into the deep sea. The memory zone. So the deep sea is the memory zone. And she said that Hanakoni's dream is sinking into the deep sea, I suppose. So, turning back to its original form. So, it's slow, it's, it is slowly but surely oozing into this dream, because Penetronis is slowly drawing back to its true form, original form, or whatever. Also, Black Swan, did I say that you were beautiful? Could be that as well, yeah. The encounter at the Dreamscape Hotel was a sign. Hmm. Yeah. I see. That would explain the uneasiness we've sensed from the family. Leaving aside the question of guest safety, were this to become public, it would it would tarnish the name of the planet of festivities. With the Charmony Festival around the corner, it's no wonder they'd want to keep it under wraps. Yeah, it's no wonder. Even the guest's safety cannot be assured now. Isn't the monster that he encountered indisputable proof? Need I remind you that it is a memory zone meme? Hmm. Even the guest's safety should not be assured now. Isn't the monster that he encountered indisputable proof? Did I remind you that it is a memory zone meme? Yeah, I don't want to uh, to encounter that uh, something unto death again. Although uh, I'll have to farm it again to to farm it because you know materials and whatnot. How could a meme that heralds death and murder appear in a dream that the family proclaims to be absolutely safe? Everyone could be lying on Penacone. Does that include the family as well? Hmm. Miss Black Swan, 
We fully understand our current predicament now. Going back to your original suggestion, for what reason has the Garden of Recollection chosen to work with the Astral Express? Yeah, why? Normally, you guys from the Garden of Recollection watch from the sidelines, don't intervene, and just collect the memories. So what business would you have to, uh, well, work with the Astral Express crew? I don't know. Hmm. Let me rephrase then. This is my personal request, not the Garden of Recollections. And the answer is simple. Miss Himiko, I simply wish to make an exchange related to the remembrance. What kind of exchange? Apart from my duty, I also have some personal pursuit in aesthetics. I am a memo keeper and a collector. I too yearn to experience those luminous, dazzling, cherished memories. That's simple enough to understand, no? Yeah, I guess so. As for you all, nameless of the Astral Express and practitioners of the Trailblaze, I have faith in your potential as well as in the unique splendor you will unleash on the stage. <laughs> this is why I wish to befriend all of you. <sighs> A place where nightmares and sweet dreams intersect. The perfect cradle for the remembrance. <laughs> she just wants uh, to have um, a lot of uh, interesting memories to collect, I suppose. And which is why she thinks that the best way to have those is to befriend us all. I understand. But before replying, we must first discuss this among ourselves. Naturally. Take your time. Speak with the express crew and distress Black Swan's suggestions. How do you see things, Himiko? It's best to be skeptical of her. There's a significant amount of intentional misdirection in her words. Hmm. But I worry about the worst outcome. If the Dreamscape's anomaly really exists, and it isn't a natural occurrence, but instigated. By someone behind the scenes. Then it likely has something to do with the watchmaker's invite. Yeah. Huh. How'd you figure that one out? Well, uh, excluding any extreme scenarios, the mastermind responsible for these shifts in the dreamscape undeniably stands against the family, which narrows it down to two possibilities. A char? Someone is drawing in external influences to distract and disrupt the family's control over Panacone. Either that, or the family has been forced to seek outside aid surreptitiously for self-preservation. That could be it. But from the encrypted message on the invite and the family's reaction, the former is more likely. Yeah. Which also means that the one who sent out the encrypted nameless message and the mastermind behind the anomaly are on the same side. Maybe even the same person. Could be, could be. Well, this doesn't necessarily mean a thing, right? In terms of methods, both the fools and the Riddlers could pull it off. Uh, hasn't the IPC cracked the message too? <sighs> March, calm down. It's just a possibility. But if this encrypted message isn't some harmless prank, but done so to invite the trailblaze into the fray, we cannot remain uninvolved. Well, let me tell you what I discovered, and I'm sorry. It's bad news. Okay, let's hear it, I suppose. According to reliable sources, some people spotted a tall silver armored man on Panacone. I've reached out to the Bloodhound family for news and visited many of those guests who claim to have seen this invader. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
but brought into reliable sources. Some people spotted a tall silver armored man on Panoptoni. A tall silver armored man. Okay. Let me just read that again. Okay. Uh, I've reached out to the Bloodhound family for news and listed many of those guests who claim to have seen this invader. And this is what I received. I've sent it to you. Open it and take a look. Okay, let's see what it is. Ahem, can you hear me? Astral Express, it's been a while. How's Pennant going on? Silver Wolf. <laughs> Silver Wolf. It's, it's that hacker girl! I'll get straight to the point. I know you've been investigating the abnormal phenomenon surrounding Panacone. Or rather, we are pleased to see that you've been doing that. Because the deeper you delve, the closer you'll get to uncovering the truth about this so-called beautiful dream. <laughs> I, I love the doodles. The family is obviously hiding something, right? Well, we've nabbed some valuable information, and out of the goodness of my heart, I've decided to share it with all of you. Although it unfortunately means your idyllic break in paradise is nearing its end. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know if we should be grateful about that. Enter this string of code into your dream pool, the device you use to dream with, and dive into the hidden map for a look. The coordinates have been sent to you. You just have to copy them over. Also, I take it you've already heard about Sam. Maybe you should look forward to the meeting. He's a straight shooter who values a fair fight. <laughs> I think you'll get along with him just fine. Sam. I think. Wait, wait. Sam, from what I remember, is one of the members of the Stellaran Hunters. And Welp talked about a tall silver armored man. So, Sam is just a tall silver armored man? Then, uh, you should look forward to the meeting. He's a straight shooter for values of fair fight. I think you'll get along with him just fine. Don't be overwhelmed at his by his enthusiasm. Okay. Oh, he had me relay a message to you. <clears throat> The curtains have just risen over the dream that can't be reached. <laughs> the various factions have started to move. I wish you luck. Don't fall behind, nameless. <laughs> the curtains have just risen over the dream that can't be reached. So, basically, what, what that means is... Uh, that door is opened, and that we can go in. Those Stellaron hunters, they even factored Penacony into their plan. Nowhere safe from them. The situation is clear. The planet of festivities isn't what it seems on the surface. Everyone's sights, including the factions in the family, are set on the Watchmaker's legacy. Yeah. Every party has its own motives, and they're attempting to thwart each other. <laughs> right. Thank you, Weld. You summed it up quite good. <laughs> While we still don't know what this legacy entails, it's only a matter of time before the power struggle ensnares innocent bystanders. Yeah. The Molten Knight, Sam, is reportedly a remnant of Klamoth's Iron Cavalry, a genetically engineered warrior. He possesses superhuman perception and acts decisively. He'll leave no margin for error. This individual is every bit as dangerous as Kafka and Blade. 
Okay. Sam the Molten Knight. So, fire. <laughs> if the Sam uses fire. I mean, is Sam uses fire? Uh, oh, is Sam using fire, sorry. Uh, so, it's reportedly remnants of Glamour's Iron Cavalry, a genetically engineered warrior. Possess a superhuman perception and acts decisively. He'll leave no margin for error. This individual, this individual is every bit as dangerous as Kafka and Blade. Wow. <sighs> so much, so much disposition about Sam. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure we'll have to fight him. <sighs> okay. Okay. Is not too strong though. This message is a threat. The hidden map that Silverwolf mentioned is probably the sealed Dreamscape Hotel. For the sake of what's to come, a visit seems necessary. Um. Message is a threat. The hidden map that Civil War mentioned is probably the sealed Dreams Trip Hotel. But the secret what's drama it visits seems necessary. Yeah, but it could be a Stellar Hunter's trap now. Which is why I didn't suggest it initially. But the way things are now, the Astral Express has a reason to join the fray. Hmm. If the family asks, just tell them that the Express is investigating the Stellar Hunters. I'm sure they'll understand. We'll plan our next move according to how they react. Then we are in agreement. Let's return and inform Miss Black Swan. All right. I guess this is uh, well overdue. And uh, where's she? Oh, she's right over the bar. Why isn't there a sugar-free so glad option? All right, Black Swan. Miss Black Swan, the Express is willing to cooperate with you. We need a proper guide to navigate the memory zone. I'm at your service. I will not disappoint. You two, return to your own rooms. Enter the dream, and if everything goes without a hitch, we'll see one another at the Dreamscape Hotel's lobby. All right. I'll stay in the real world to ensure everyone's safety. If needed, I will also parlay with the family. I assume there's no problem, Miss Black Swan? It seems that I'll have a hard time gaining your trust, even if I personally did rescue your friends. <sighs> it's no problem, of course, other than the fact that my feelings are a little hurt. We're counting on you, Elt. As for us, let's get ready to see the dreamscape's true visage. True visage. We'll be busy for a while. I wonder if Firefly has returned to reality yet. Yeah, I wonder. Mm, I don't have her contact info. I'll ask Black Swan. When? I mean, I suppose if I enter in the room. Although, I'd like to see if other doors are now open or not. No. Sure, I put it in my pocket. Locked. Because, as you may see, I still have two chests to get, but I don't know where they are. I suppose they will be somewhere close by. Well, screw. Some sort of permit to unlock the door. Okay. Okay. This. Okay. Well, let's open this door. Black Swan. 
Hey, black swan. You look anxious. Worried about that girl? Yeah, I mean, it's Firefly. It's best drill, so... Uh, any news about her? You can talk to me if you've something on your mind. In this world, there's no one who heals the heart better than a memo keeper. Heals the heart, eh? Thank you for saving me first and I foremost. just did what I had to do. You are special, after all. So special that many pairs of eyes are watching your every move. Hm. Can you confirm that Firefly is safe? Don't worry. That is a one-way door leading to awakened reality. Unless that girl is so stubborn that she refuses to wake up from the dream, which isn't possible. She must be holed up somewhere in the hotel massaging her eyes right now. Oh yeah? To be honest, I don't really trust memory keepers. It appears you've had some unhappy memories. But it's obvious that this partnership makes the most sense to you, me, and the express crew, no? So you can take it easy and trust me. Of course, I'm not the only memo keeper who has come. Penacone has opened its doors to factions beyond the family for the first time. And the garden must record this historic moment. Mm -hmm. So you can try working together with others as well, as long as you can see them. <laughs> Uh, you're not returning to your room? No. I will accompany you into the dream to prevent harm from befalling you all. Memo keepers don't need a dream pool anyway. Alright, that's all for now. Alright. Drift peacefully off to sleep, and I'll be right with you. Uh, okay. Aren't you a black swan? I'm quite reassured. Also, black swan natural in the room? I don't know. Anything could happen, I suppose. Anyways, enter Silver Wolf's Cove. Welcome to Penacone, honored guest. Well, thank you. I'll lie down in the dream pool. Where are we going? Back in this familiar room. Yeah, so familiar. <laughs> 